Maybe it was a lesbian connection thing. Who knows? Every day is gay day when you're Presley. But on the channel, gay day only happens once per week. Hey everyone, it's Presley with Active Games Duck, I'm here. And today is October, which also means that it's LGBT plus history month, at least in America, which is really, really cool because this is my, October is my favorite month. And it's just another thing that's going on in October that I really love. There's a really long list of those things, but I'm not going to go into it today. Because today, we're going to be talking about Ellen DeGeneres, who is the most famous lesbian in America, if not the most famous lesbian in the world, which is really insane. And I love her a lot. I love her show. I love all of the work that she's been doing. And I'm thinking that um, every week, of this month, I'm going to be highlighting an important LGBT person in history and talking about them a little bit. And it may seem a little bit weird that I'm going to be doing Ellen DeGeneres for LGBT History Month because the word history makes you assume that I'm going to be talking about someone from a very long time ago or something like that. But the truth is, there haven't been a lot of people in who are in the very far past that were out and open about their sexuality and that makes it really hard to talk about lgbt history in the sense you would talk about american history or something like that um but i am talking about ellen not only because she is um lgbt and she is a huge part of lgbt but also just because i really love her and i really respect her and I respect all she did. I watched the puppy episode, which is the famous episode where Ellen's character on her sitcom came out. Um, and I watched that today. It's really funny. And I highly recommend you give it a watch if you haven't already. And it definitely gives um, actually a pretty good insight into the discovering, the journey of discovering who you are as an LGBT person and the adventure of coming out as well. And it's a really good episode, and I just respect Ellen so much. Um, and her show, like I'm saying this again, her show is so funny. Her sitcom, I've only seen a little bit of, um, but from what I've seen, it's actually a really funny sitcom, and I don't tend to be the person that like that watches a lot of sitcoms, but it's really interesting and really entertaining. As well as her talk show is, if uh, one of the best, if not the best talk shows on, period. It's really good. And uh, even before I knew she was a lesbian, and before I knew I was a lesbian, this isn't just a lesbian connection going on. I loved her show. I would insist, like, even since I was really little, whenever Ellen was on, I'd be like, Mom, Mom, Ellen's on. I don't want to watch Ellen. I would always watch Ellen. Maybe it was a lesbian connection thing. Who knows? But it's she's just really funny and really, uh, and I respect her a lot. And this kind of ties back into a video I did a few weeks back about the um, ways to represent LGBT people in social media and stuff like that. And Ellen is definitely very much the Hannah Hart method, which we were talking about, where she is a gay woman doing um, like funny talk shows and sitcoms and stuff like that that don't necessarily always have to do with her being a gay woman. And people can enjoy her content without knowing that and their minds can be changed on how they feel about LGBT people just seeing her just existing as a gay person, just kind of being there and doing really amazing work. And she's, like I said, fantastic, amazing, um, very good person and has done a lot for the LGBT community uh, ever since a magazine was printed with the caption, Yep, I'm Gay. So much has happened for the LGBT community. We've been, um, she is definitely a huge, if not one of, the, one of the biggest, definitely, players in modern LGBT culture and how the world is becoming so much more accepting. And I just wanted, she's probably not watching this, but I just wanted to thank her for doing all of this, for helping the LGBT community get, um, move forward and be so much more accepted and she is absolutely amazing if some maybe i don't even say that because i don't know how many people there are out there that haven't watched ellen but if you haven't go watch it if you haven't watched her sitcom it's very funny and you should definitely go watch that um and even if you don't think you'd like the whole sitcom watch the puppy episode 
it's really good. I really like the puppy episode. And the reason it's called the puppy episode is, forgive me if I'm wrong, because I don't know this for sure, um, they said that Ellen should not come out, and instead they should give her a puppy. And then they kind of started calling it the puppy episode to keep it under wraps what was going on. And they even got open, and um, the thing is, like, they kind of announced it in the Hollywood world, and a lot of people um, got very interested in it and wanted to be in the puppy episode, even before it aired, so it wasn't a huge announcement. Everyone learned right then, when the puppy episode came out, that Ellen was gay. Um, which is amazing, like Oprah was in it, and Oprah decided to be in it because of um, it being announced in sort of the Hollywood world, and it's just a really cool thing, and I'm so happy that Ellen is a person that exists, and so happy that she's done so much for her community. She is definitely a really cool cat. That was really lame to say, <laughs> whatever. A cool cat. And just so you know, I haven't quite picked people to do for the rest of the month, so if there is an LGBT person in history, their role in history doesn't necessarily have to do with them being LGBT, that you are really fascinated with and you know some stuff about, tell me in the comments below and I will be sure to take a look at them and maybe even do them for another video in October. If not, I'll definitely talk about a lot more LGBT people in history because there are so many people in history who were LGBT and aren't necessarily known for that but do just for LGBT doing really cool things and having really cool accomplishments and I would also love to talk about whether in October at a later time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more gay day videos like this. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!